We are, mm, it's about 11.30 p.m. on the Thursday here at Armbrist Pro Gym. Uh, I believe it's July 2nd. Um, pretty much 11 weeks out from the 2015 Mr. Olympia contest. I'm, of course, Phil Heath, four-time Mr. Olympia, going for the number five. We're here to train chest again. Yes. Um, thank you all for actually going on to my Instagram and Facebook today as I posted the video pertaining to this particular workout. I'm going to try to switch things up a little bit. I'm going to keep some things in and leave some things out in regards to what exercise I'm going to do. Um, it's more going to be instinctive. Uh, weight is still 272, which is in my eyes very good, but at the same time, um, I like to be still be bigger. Uh, but my conditioning is a lot better. I think you guys would be able to tell. Uh, even right now as me standing and then also you'd be able to compare a contrast like not just the strength but the leanness um, I, I think I'm a little bit ahead of schedule but um, we'll see we'll see what my trainer Honey Rambo thinks um, this workout is going to be intense I have a feeling that as I start to get through this very first exercise um, it's going to get a little bit more hardcore. Um, my mind is very, very strong at the moment. Uh, you know, I'm very, very uh, locked in, very, very keyed in on what I have to do, not just with the diet, but the training, and everything's starting to form. Um, and shout out to all the fans out there, you know, hit me up and stuff like that. And uh, of course, there's been a lot of chatter online, so that's always good, because even when people are hating on you, it just means that you're very, very relevant. So it's always good, you know, that I can be able to engage um, with you guys. Obviously, these videos, hopefully they help you. I don't think they'll hurt you. Um, but I, I definitely want you guys to be sure to tune in, comment, tell us what you like, tell us if you want to see more. Um, the reason why we're doing this video is because you guys actually did that. So thank you. Um, you know, really, that's pretty much it. I mean, I want you guys to really understand that, like, most guys aren't going to film. <laughs> most guys don't care. Most guys are so fixated on just trying to beat me that they don't have time for anything else. I'm trying to go the extra step to let you guys have a little bit more perspective on the journey going for number five. Um, I want that experience for myself, but also for you guys, because at the end of this career of mine, I want to be able to say we did this together. Um, so obviously, shout out to the Heath Nation, Team Heath, of course, uh, Gifted Nutrition. Uh, be sure to check them out. Uh, we got a lot of new cool things on the horizon. We even got some new flavors that are coming out, not just with Accelerate, but also our Isoway, our Ultimate Isoway protein. Um, I've been trying that out. I'd like to tell you the flavors already, but there's some other companies that are trying to steal it. So I already know this because I have people in the inside. But anyway, we are very, very, very keyed in. Very controlled aggression at this moment. I kind of driving on the way down here and I went to grab something to eat and I was just like these guys have no freaking clue <laughs> and that's a good thing because when I go online and I speak to you guys and you know I, I hear good things I hear bad things I even hear the ugliest things you could ever imagine um, it just reminds me that wow like it's you against the world sometimes and for you guys that are watching you're gonna be inspired to do something in your own personal life where someone's telling you no and you're able to still stay focused, still stay dedicated about your craft and still become successful. But that's only the beginning. When you become successful, you're always going to be asked what's next. What can you do again to be better and better and better? Be willing to do that. If you get straight A's in all your classes, try to do it again. See how many times you can do it. It's no different than when you beat a freaking video game and see if you can start over and try to beat it again with a higher score. That should be your pursuit. We're never going to be extremely perfect, but we could always be better than the last attempt. And that's what I'm trying to show you with these workouts, with just my success in this bodybuilding thing. <laughs> I decided to do, gosh, I turned pro five, uh, 10 years ago. I never thought I'd be in this position, but I'm glad that I stayed the course. And I'm glad that I kept my head strong, no matter what anyone else thought, no matter what anyone else said. Even currently, people say crazy things. I'm here living proof that what those people say it doesn't really matter. Even the good stuff that people say. What matters is what I'm able to do when no one, else else, no one else is in the room. No one else is in the gym. It's just me and these weights. And that's another reason why I like to post these videos while training by myself. Is to let you guys know that if I can do it, 
with no one else in the room. What's your excuse? It's almost midnight. What is your excuse? You don't think I was up at 6 a.m. doing cardio this morning? Yeah, I was still doing it. I was still doing what I had to do. Still getting all my meals in. Still answering the phone calls, emails, doing business. You guys live great lives or not so great, but I'm trying to push you to understand that we're all the same. We just want to train hard, we don't train smart and have fun. We also want to look good. We want to feel freaking awesome and we want to have the hope to be able to do it tomorrow. So I'm pretty motivated, man. Let's go get, get our, as they say, get our gains going. First, I got to go figure out my damn uh, sound list, my, my playlist. I've been listening to a lot of heavy metal lately and it's primarily because I've been learning the electric guitar. <laughs> so it kind of gets me in, the, in a different frame of mind. I still listen to my hip hop and stuff. I, I'll never turn my back on that, but a good variety is always key. All right, let's kill it. So we like to pause right here and then press up. Working more of this part, the bottom part of the rep. So you can always change the cadence up. Gotta stay hydrated, guys. Especially living in this altitude. I go for about a gallon and a half to two gallons a day. I usually split that up 10 to 12 servings a day. Because if you just pound a gallon of water, you'll think you're hydrated because you're going to the bathroom all the time. I guarantee you if you split that gallon up, and like five servings and then start eating, your urine won't be the same. So you may not be as hydrated as you think, but um, I know living here, you gotta stay hydrated. Supplements won't work, food won't work, recovery won't work, metabolism won't work without staying hydrated. And as you get leaner, your body needs to stay hydrated. Like right now, like a lot leaner right now. And I know with taking like all the supplements and stuff, like I'm running beyond pumped in a scuba accelerate right now and a scuba built. Excuse me. And because of that, 
I'm starting to get volumized, but what do you think that's doing? <laughs> It actually dehydrate your ass a little bit. And those people that like to run fat burners and stuff with their pre-workouts, <laughs> that can really do some damage to you if you're not hydrated. So it's always key. So I think they want to see what I'm training to right now. <laughs> 100 ways you can hate Phil Heath. Less than a five in your death punch. <laughs> Shout out to Chris Kale, my guy. I know he's trying to get his health kick on, so I gotta do the set for him. Oh yeah. So I think I'm gonna do a couple sets using both. All about angles. Many angles you can hit it. Without killing yourself. When I say killing yourself, obviously injuring yourself. We don't wanna do that. So I kind of change that up. <laughs> this is kind of a superset, I guess. Sometimes I'll throw that in just to pick up the intensity a little bit. I just want to grow, man. <laughs> Don't we all just want to get fucking huge? Is that too fucking hard to ask? <laughs> we just want to be like that guy, man. That dude. We want that title underneath his name. That's what we're shooting for. I want to be better than that guy. I'm going to be better than that guy. <sighs> Easy to say. He's the same when you're <laughs> hyped up. But am I willing to do more than what that sucker did? And that dude? <clears throat> I think so.
Now I'm having fun. <clears throat> Any time where you can lift some weights and get yourself pumped up, try some different stuff, look in the mirror, feel that freaking pump. I know you guys be looking in that mirror at yourself. It's all right, it's cool. You start seeing yourself get pumped up, take it up a notch. Flat. Go outside your comfort some zone. LEDs. Don't do anything too stupid. I think I might have to throw another incline. It's okay to in. strong. It's okay to be Just trying to work like this up here. So then so when you can see there's a shelf up here and you're hitting those side shots, hitting those side shots, you can see that there's a shelf up there. So you want to be able to have that, but you also want people to see that there's a shelf up there even when you're standing straight ahead. So I always talked about before you do incline, Guys do curls for the girls and stuff. You do incline for those V-neck shirts. So you can see up here, you want that muscle to pop out. You want that shit to be like IMAX. IMAX 3D training. <laughs> Nothing I train for is for standard hot HD. <clears throat> if you ain't trying to be 3D, forget about it. And just holding that. Couple seconds. That'll get the muscles pumping when you hold those movements at the very end. And then whenever I try to hold a child like this, like holding a child, especially men, kid only weighs maybe 10, 15 pounds, and you're like doing this. It's because those different muscles aren't activated because you're too busy doing this. Instead of like holding it right here, if you hold it right here for a long period of time, now those other muscles start firing, 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 firing. So when you're doing these movements, boom, hold it for like a little bit. It's okay to hold it for a little bit longer. No matter about what the weight is, you're trying to get muscle activation. That's what this is all about. All this stuff. Your bodybuilder, you want muscles activating. Power lifter, A to B, A to B. Strong man, A to B, A to B. We're going for the aesthetics. We're going for the roundness of the muscle. This is gonna get it. You still gotta lift strong, so I lift heavy, but you gotta be able to control it. Controlled aggression. So like how I can talk and this and that in between sets is because I know that once I'm in here, hard focus right now, soft focus. Once you can master that, you're good to go. It's kind of like how someone getting ready to shoot a free throw and he's over here talking to his teammates, doing this and that. Then when he has to shoot that free throw, silence in his mind, he knows his job. Fans cheering, screaming, hating him, this and that. Focus. In here, you lift the weight, you focus. Outside, if you want to say something to yourself or whatever, it's cool. But you better be focused when you're lifting this. Because if you come in here half-stepping, you will not get gains and you will get hurt. It's just calling my name. Don't worry, girl. I'll feed you. I'll feed you some weights. start this, their chest workouts with hammer incline, but we started off with a different one. That one's a little harder. Actually, that one's a lot harder. Plates on that one's like five on this one. Four, like four and a quarter on this one. Come on, girl. Time to lift this big bitch up. <laughs> you 
you guys know exactly the part that I'm left into, I think. I'm taking everybody down. <laughs> Fuck yeah, bitch! Oh man, it's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a good ride, girl. Don't worry. <laughs> oh man. Gotta have fun with this shit. <sighs> I had to put that song on pause. It was so damn good. Because I know there's a good part coming. 12.25 a.m. July 3rd. Officially. 11 weeks out. Well, I will either do work or not. <laughs> I choose to do work. <sighs> you gotta love this. You gotta love being in here. My place of peace my place where um, can't really be bothered. <sighs> Shout out to Dylan Armbrist for actually giving me keys to this place and allowing me to go slam this. <laughs> <laughs> be a kid in the candy store right now. Get my mind right for this one. This one's going to require some some big effort. <sighs> I'm ready, but just gotta enjoy this process. Enjoy the enjoy every rep. I'm only gonna be doing this for five more years. <laughs> been pro for ten. I can't believe I've been pro for ten. It's like a blur. A lot of people never stop and smell the damn roses. I say shame on you. Because when it's gone, you can't get it back. Don't be that dude. say you can't win shit, Phil. Every year some fucking moron says you can't win. Every year some critic says you can't win. Every year some competitor thinks you can't win, that they're gonna whip your ass. <laughs> and then four sandals later they still talking. <laughs> Team Heath knows what's up. I do reps from them on this one. <laughs> I know my mom's watching, so sorry. <laughs> I, I apologize. But I'm in the zone. I will not be stopped. <clears throat> I will not be stopped. <laughs> Never. Never. I said it. So don't worry. Finishing strong. I'm gonna throw a quarter on this bitch. Should we throw a quarter? Ooh. Man, you're a wild boy. You're a wild boy. You're a wild boy. You're a wild dude. I don't even know how many reps I got on that last one. 
But if I'm able to talk that much shit while I'm drilling five fucking plates, get it, five? So we have to ascend to a, another level. When you hit that at the end of a workout, man, and we're not even done. <laughs> Boom. And I got 11 weeks. Someone's in trouble. Remember that guy I was pointing to earlier? That guy's in trouble. That Phil, he, dude, he's in trouble. That fucker's in trouble. So I'm about to beat his ass. I'm about to beat his little three or four fucking facts. I'm gonna whoop his ass. This guy said you can't do it. That guy over there said you can't do it. He's saying you can't do it. He's saying if you wanna be the best, you gotta beat him. You gotta beat that guy who won last year. You gotta be more insane. You gotta be more crazier than him. And more dedicated than him. You can't just talk about this shit. You gotta be willing to do it. Well, that means you're gonna have to change this damn song. All right. All right. <laughs> oh, let's get it, man. in trouble and I'm not here I'm not here to die <laughs> why not do a drum screw it <laughs> no, no, I'm not here I'm not here <laughs> Thirty-four seconds rest. We're gonna do six more of these that way, FC Seven style. We're gonna force his pecs to grow. They have no choice. They, these pecs thought they were done when I was hitting that shit earlier. It's your job to tell the muscle to grow. It don't rest until you tell it to. And these ways, don't worry about that shit. You make them fear you.
Delts are pushing. Delts are pushing, 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 pushing. That's what we want. We want to be ready early. We can grow into the show even more. Last one. Incline, incline flies, incline dumbbell flies, went over the stride machine, outside, inside grip, which set it. Sorry, I'm yelling so much. Got so much tunes in the background. Went from that, came over, and uh, huh, did this right here, this pack deck, or whatever you want to call it. Then went to the regular hammer incline. I think last time we filmed, they did it five plates. I did five and a quarter. Maybe next time we go up to six. And then finished out right here. Total working chest, we did uh, 25 on chest. So hopefully that's enough for today. Um, very, very excited. <laughs> I know I got better today. My work's far from finished. It's just getting started. And that's why I'm smiling, because I know that after doing this so many times, you know when your strength and your shape usually is around this time. I think we should go weigh myself. Come on. <laughs> 